You want me to do it? Are you gonna do it? I'm sure it'll be. That is a worm. You see that? Look at that. Yeah. All right, hooked up. I'm not exactly sure what it is. We're gonna find out here in just a second. Just caught a bunch of bait. Got lines out and trying to rig, and we got hooked up while I'm rigging up. First fish coming in the boat. Nice, beautiful snug. Hey, buddy. Gorgeous. Chill out. Gotcha. There he is. Beautiful snook to start the morning. Can't complain about that. Just choked down a beautiful mullet I caught on the cast net. And we're gonna let this bad boy go, get more lines out, and finish up rigging up the rest of the rods. But when you know you've been having finished up rigging and you catch a fish, that's a good thing. Nice job on that fish, Dar Sizzle. Darcy did a great job catching that bait this morning. She's gotta go on land and everything. But I wanna tell you guys a little bit about what we're doing here in Stewart today. We're, we're in Stewart and we're pre-fishing the Michael Shields Memorial Inshore Fishing Tournament, which is a two-day event that's gonna be Friday and Saturday. So the next two or three videos, we're gonna be fishing this event. And we wanna thank Landshark Lager, Darcy's longest and best sponsor, uh, for helping us do that. So really appreciate it. Try a Landshark, guys. Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Next, the Smith's products, those great knives Darcy's been using. Uh, we got a, a discount code, 15% off on the website, Darcyzzle15. So check that out too. Save some money for Christmas. Uh, also, don't forget, Darcy's having her calendars come out. When you get this video, they should be on pre-order, the salt water and hopefully the fresh water calendars. So you can go down to the website, pick those up, your 2020 calendars. Of course, you can also start your shopping for Darcy's bracelets and these sick necklaces, silver ones she's selling. So check all that stuff out and let's get back to fishing. Scouting for the tournament. Haven't had much success catching fish, but we're learning a lot about the area, which is key. And we're exploring more areas further north of Stewart and I'm about to catch some bait. We just came across a huge flat of mullet. So we're just trying to load the live well, get set up and wait for this current to start moving as well. All right, I got some mullet. Yay, middle of the day. It's always a good thing. This is a keeper. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, what's up guys? We just actually saw a pompano, or Darcy saw a pompano jump through the air. So the pompano is starting to trickle in here. And then I started throwing and I caught a nice keeper trout. They gotta be like 18 inches, right? I think it's 15. No, 15, whatever. This was a good size. He's like 17, 16. 17. 17. And I just got him uh, fish bites. I was, uh, Captain Justin uses these fish bites. And, you know, I know you usually use them for, for pompano, but they also have these Watch curly it. tails, these curly tail like grubs. And I called them up and they sent me some. And so thanks, fish bites. You just caught me, my first like keeper trout ever. So awesome. And uh, that's the story. Let's get some more fish sizzle. Oh my God, come on. Get it all in here, get it all in here. Did you guys see that? Darcy just caught like a thousand baits in her cast net. Yes! Dude, we're like looking for mullet and I literally just caught like 10 different varieties of bait, except mullet, <laughs> which is hilarious, but I'm not complaining. She's screaming. Good for you, Dar Sizzle. Uh, if you're following along, it's the second day of our pre-fishing the Michael Shields Memorial Tournament here in Stewart. It starts this afternoon at four o'clock, so it's gonna be very exciting. We've been looking for bait, and looking for the spots where the fish are, found a couple of great things. Let's go catch some fish now. My turn to catch a trout now. Ooh, something nice boiled right there. I caught one earlier today, but it jumped off at the side of the boat, so I just switched up the DOA little swim bait to a little chartreuse tail there, as you can see. So I'm gonna cast it out. Hope for the best. Water quality. Nice job. Woo! Come on, I'm gonna catch one. It looks, is it big enough? Look at that guys, trout, trout. And he is 16 inches. Brian slaying trout. Nice. I still haven't caught one. He What's just it? stole my rig. This is on my, a, my lure that I just rigged This is on a Mustad jig head and a uh, DOA cow. cow. There you go. Nice Thanks job. DOA. Nice you spoke job. to them, but I cast. Man, I want one. Go 
one in the Grizzly. Daddy, might be another Jack. Oh, I might have lost them. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Oh. Jack. No, Trout. Oh, Woo! <laughs> oh, and he cannot talk. Is that a, where's the real ruler? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> he wants one on the side. Oh, gotta go this way. No, 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 stop flipping. Yeah, he's 60. Pinch your tail. He's exactly 16. Season open. This four bag limit. For each. Another trout? How many casts do you make without a trout? Not fair. In your face. In your face. That might be just a keeper, but good job. <laughs> At least he's catching dinner. I did a bad thing. Guys. Gotta be safe on the boat. I just hooked my girlfriend. I got my GoPro on. <laughs> it's starting to hurt now. All right, yeah, I'm get sure out. It'll be fine. You want me to do it? You're gonna do it. I'm sure it'll be fine. You gotta do it fast. You want me to do it? Look, guys, see. <gasps> that wasn't too bad. I don't think the barb was in. No, I got very lucky on that. I'm sorry, Jeez. honey. That's my fault. <laughs> this is not my day. Bad things come in threes. That's twice. Once on the finger twice on the arm. What's going to happen tonight? I'm scared. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> Please let me get the freaking trout. All right, Josh Sizzle, that's enough fooling around, although I killed you on the trout. I'm so upset I didn't catch one. <laughs> All right, we got to run down and, and sign in for the, the captain's meeting for our tournament and get up. Then we're coming back. Then, then we're going to have to walk a snow hopefully. Let's go. Let's go. One and done, look at this. Come look. Holy baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh I can't pick it up. That's too many. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> I think that's the most I've ever caught in my net, period. I could barely lift that up. It almost ripped my net. Ah. All right, we broke off the skunk. He just popped that circle hook, perfect, good job. All right, so we've made a few casts already. We're just gonna keep casting this area, keep working the side here with the mullet and the uh, mangroves and just see what happens. See what happens after last night. We didn't really do that great. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, last night, you know, we had a lot of trouble in the Stewart lately. The water quality is pretty bad and there's not a lot of mullet as you think. So uh, last night, you know, we fished till about 9.30 and then we went in. And uh, so this is a kind of a continuation video from yesterday, obviously. And uh, we're up by the power plant, trying to make this tournament happen. We made it back to the house, guys. Really long day on the water for us. It's time to go ahead and fillet the speckled sea trout that Brian caught. I didn't catch, not catch a single keeper trout, but that's okay. Let's get him out of the grizzly cooler. And a couple of these fish are really nice size, I think. But I caught a bunch of shorts. This one's probably a 17 inch trout, which is a nice one. Can't complain about that fish. And I'm gonna be using my seven inch Lawaya saltwater coated fillet knife from Smith's Consumer Products. Great knife that holds a sharp edge. You always want a sharp knife when you're filleting fish. So I'm just gonna fillet this fish like I do any other fish. I don't get to fillet a whole lot of trout. So I'm interested to see what's inside this fish and how beautiful the fillets look. And I also heard they might have worms. So like I was saying before, about our day fishing. It was just a really tough day of fishing. Tough conditions, super windy. You know, we're in an area that we don't normally fish. So we were just, you know, learning and exploring. And we, Brian caught all these trout, caught a couple snook. 
but it, overall that's you know pretty much all we caught and it was just a super weird day for one i got hooked twice with the hook one in my finger one in my actual arm which was wild and then i actually fell on the boat i made this we weren't filming of course but i feel fell very awkwardly i'm lucky i didn't fall into the water got pulled over by the fwc which we never have got pulled over for a fish check in all of our time of fishing together which has been almost eight years which is pretty wild uh, they're really strict up there in Stewart, but we were fine. No tickets, of course. And then when we were going home, we stopped for gas. And literally, when we got out and got gas in the truck, and we got back in the truck, we could not find the truck key. And 30 minutes later, we find the key, and basically the key had, like, broke, which keys never break. It was just the weirdest day, guys. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you. So you can see here, I'm just laying it off. Got a little piece there that I missed, but that's no big deal. There we go. Just standard fillet job like i always do every other fish these fish are much, very thin so it's like a perfect fish for the skillet uh pan fried or pan you know whether cooked on the skillet i'm just going to remove these little pin bones but they don't have a whole lot of pin bones they're very um they're not tough to fillet whatso whatsoever easy to fillet but you just want that sharp knife so you can make nice cuts but i mean look at that how pretty that meat is i mean absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to eat this in a little bit so actually there's a little bit of bones right here but oh yep he has worms look at that you can see this little white thing right here that is a worm and i've heard look at that coming out eh, i can grab it <laughs> can't grab it hold on here we go this long squiggly thing should come out Get a hold of it, it's so slimy. There it goes. Little worm there and a little worm there, but that's no big deal. Just take them out, remove it, and not the end of the world. But I do have heard that speckled trout hold worms. About 40% of them are infected, which is pretty crazy, but the worms don't hurt you to eat, so it's no big deal. My dad would actually say it would grow hair on your chest. So <laughs> leave the worms in and cook it. Once you cook it, obviously they're dead, so no big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and fillet the other side of Brian's trout, and I'm gonna fillet the rest of his keeper trout and I'm gonna meet you inside the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Great job, Dust, as a flaying those fish. I hope you didn't get any radioactivity on you from those nuclear trout. Yeah, maybe that's why they were covered in worms. <laughs> the worms would have been much bigger. I don't know, there's a lot. The I, little ones had a lot of worms. You thought I would have caught bigger trout next to a nuclear power plant. True. I hope true. we're safe. True. Anyway, welcome to Cooking with Pudding. Got my pudding hat on and I dyed my hair. He did. <laughs> Darcy loves me to dye my hair because otherwise it's really gray. Now, and also guys, I, I just gotta point out, like a life lesson, whatever your girlfriend wants to do, you do, right? Pretty much, that's, uh, that's the secret to a uh, happy wife is a happy life. Yes. All right, so we got the trout, and we're doing a pretty simple lemon butter. Yeah, it's What a, is it uh, called, the recipe? It's a um, lemon butter wine garlic herb sauce. Beautiful. All right, but first we're gonna cook the fish, and then we're gonna make the sauce. So, I've already rinsed the fish, and now we're just gonna put on some Italian seasonings and some salt. All right, I got the salt and herbs on there already. I got my pan already preheated, and we're gonna cook this today in a little olive oil. All right, here we go. Ooh, sounds good. Now this is a pretty light fish. It's probably just gonna cook about two minutes and then you wanna flip it. I'm even gonna turn on the timer. All right guys, now that cooked for about two minutes on one side and one minute on the other. And how I test it if it's done, I always show you and tell you is I just kind of poke it with a fork. I cook fish very, very well. I'm excellent at it actually. And the key is to take off the, you know, you take off the thinner pieces first and you check it with the fork and you can do a really great job. So I'm just taking this all off, bada boom. Now I'm gonna make this sauce. I'm gonna say Darcy came up with the recipe. And uh, so you're gonna use the same pan, Got all these griddles in here and stickles. Maybe you need a little oil. In my personal opinion, I'm just gonna throw that in, a little olive oil more, because I used up a lot of it cooking. All right, now we got some simple ingredients. I got, I got some wine. White. White wine. And I got some lemon juice. Boom, and I got a lot of garlic. While uh, that was cooking, I took the liberty of cutting the garlic and this parsley over here. 
and you can see this nice knife I'm using, the stag handle knife. This is one of those, uh, what's the name of it? Smith Products uh, products you can also use. And again, you get that discount that I told you about, Dark Sizzle 15. Yes. I told you that like four days ago now. Yes. 50% <laughs> <laughs> off of that awesome stag handles. They have like a whole cuttery set for the kitchen. On their website only, by the way, not Amazon. Right, smithsproducts.com. Yes. All right, so we're gonna just soften up this garlic and then we're gonna add uh, some other ingredients like butter and what is that, parsley? Nice. All right, guys, it's been about two or three minutes. You can see that's kind of lightened up and a little brown. And uh, just to remind you, you know, how we caught these trout, you know, we were out there, you know, we've heard of the power plant, it's a great spot. <coughs> I'm gonna add some butter and some parsley. I'm just gonna throw it on my hand because Darcy's not looking. And uh, you know, we're out there on a Wednesday or a Thursday and no one's out there. And Darcy saw a pompano jump in the jump. And uh, so we figured there might be some life right there. So I just throw, started throwing those paddle tails and started catching trout. And then we go back on Saturday and the whole area is full of people. So, you know, that's how we found the fish. You know, there was, we knew it might be a good spot, but we also found the fish by keeping our eyes open. So good stuff. And hopefully these won't be nuclear radioactive. They're probably safe in the grizzly cooler, protecting it because it's bear proof, maybe radioactive proof. We don't know. That's not a representation from the company of Grizzly. <laughs> but uh, this sauce looks pretty good. Can you see that? Look at that. Now let's, let's make a plate and put it on and see how it tastes. Trout is an excellent fish. We've had it a couple years ago. We caught some in Louisiana. But uh, it's one of the best tasting fishes you can get out there. And I can't wait to have it with this sauce. Geez, that sizzle, that looks delicious. Looks amazing. I just, I just rough cut the garlic and the uh, other spices just that's why you have so many chunks of garlic, but we love garlic. Yeah. We, we love always garlic. put as many as much garlic as we want. The more the better. Ladies first. I'm going to be drinking. I try to get as rid of as much of the worms as possible. Freaks me out just a little bit, but I'm sure the radioactivity killed I'm them. I'm not going to not eat it. Even that's, though Brian caught it. That's not what that's not what Papa Tim would do. He would just eat that. How is it? Super yummy. You know, like with this this meal and this type of fish, trout, like it's a very simple yet very delicate flavor. So you don't really need to go like crazy to like spruce it up or like go crazy with the recipe. This is really simple. It took us all of like 30 minutes to do. Right, like you don't want to fry it or anything. There's no yeah. reason to, you, got, you just and, want to eat it. And it's such a thin fish as well. And it's just a really lean protein full of mm. omega-3s, fatty acids. It's just, it's just a great, meal and it's super healthy and this freaking sauce is amazing are you gonna kiss me tonight after i ate all this garlic <laughs> yes because <laughs> <laughs> you'll be the same right mm -hmm. that right, was maybe? another thing my dad used to say too that like you smell like an italian war bride after 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 eating, eating so much garlic and i know the story behind it but i'm not going to go ahead and explain it right now but if any of you guys do go ahead and comment below <laughs> you might know so I'm gonna wash it down with a little land shark, and I think uh, we should wrap it up there, Sizzle. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was awesome catching these fish, and I'm really jealous, and I can't wait to go back and catch my own keeper trout, because Brian slayed me both days. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Give them some credit in the comments below, and until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers.